Uh, joining us now with reasons to perhaps remain optimistic and where to put your money. Uh, Ellie Wheeler is a partner at Graycroft. Uh, Ellie, uh, you have a uh, little bit of optimism amid, uh, amid all this pessimism. Where do you get it from? I don't think you can be a pessimist and invest in early stage companies. So, uh, look, we take the long view at Graycroft. We're investing in companies at, at really any stage in their growth journey. And we need to be long-term right, right? So there's a lot of trends over the next five to 10 years that we're still really excited about, whether it's telemedicine or some of these trends in remote work. Obviously, you're seeing uh, some of those pandemic era darling stocks getting hit, um, but the trends are still there. So I think there certainly are still areas that we're excited about, um, but obviously in, in the short term, there's a lot of turbulence to say the least. Ellie, the other question, though, that I think we've and we talked about a little bit earlier during the broadcast today is just how much of these private investments are not being properly marked yet to reflect, in fact, where the public markets are and what that ultimately could do, frankly, to the public markets, meaning that there is this sort of vicious circle or vicious cycle that could emerge. Yes. Uh, um, so. It's certainly a lagging indicator, right? So, you know, where privates are going, they follow the publics, but it takes some time. Um, you know, we're seeing it show up in some of the later stage companies, as it makes sense. Obviously, the growth valuations, this company's closest to IPO, are the ones that are going to be most closely tied to multiples. And you're starting to see softness there, and you're starting to see um, some down rounds. You're starting to see an overall shift toward unit economics away from growth at all costs, which is, you know, kind of the prevailing sentiment over the, had been, excuse me, the prevailing sentiment over the last few years. You're starting to see all those shifts. Um, certainly, there's an awful lot of marks in the private markets that that haven't been adjusted, but that's also because they get adjusted a little bit differently. Um, but we are going to see more of that. It's it hasn't even adjusted all the way through to the early to the earliest stages. Uh, we're just starting to see that. So it really does take some time to work its way through. Um, but you know, the flip side to that is. Um, for every kind of later stage company that's starting to do layoffs, and we are starting to see that again as people um, really need to start proving out the profitability and viability of their models. You're also seeing a lot of those people end up with multiple job offers within a week, right? So it's there's still uh, you know a real war for talent out there, and a lot of places for these people to go. And you know, so we're spending a lot of time making sure that our companies can get access to that that best talent. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.